Good morning, it's Amy and Mama Pam. We're back in Tiffin, Ohio today. It is Saturday, September 14th. Uh, they have one more show after this one, but this will likely be the last time we get to come to the flea market this year. So let's see what we can find today. Oh, I like him. He's heavy. I don't, I don't think he's old. I think he's a reproduction made to look old, but he's still cute. He's 15. Well, there was a lot of people in this booth, but I got four of these vintage snowman towels and a little tree brooch. Found an Irwin baby. I gotta get the sticker off of there, but she's only five bucks. That's a little tiny treasures in here. Some little cake toppers. Looks like, Looks like elephant little candle holders. There's another little cake topper. Mm, it's a gorgeous day here in Tiffin, Ohio. It's not going to be too too hot today, but no rain. Nice sunny day. I always love the antique milk glass kitty plates. No paint left, but ooh, look at the ring of fire on that one. Meow meow. It's 18. Hey Harry, want to do this yucky puzzle? Yeah! All these tray puzzles, it's fun. There's a topsy-turvy doll. Looks like Little Red Riding Hood. Some dolly clothes. Bear lamp. Oh, look at the vinyl cloth. Meow meow. But oh, she's so sad. Ooh, this is a Kamar reindeer. I'm not sure how much she wants on that, but I have to ask. And some Halloweenies. Oh, I see a baby deer. Oh, she's got a leg repair. Dang. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Oh, I like her. She's kind of fun. She's $4. We'll get her. Halloween nut cups. Trees, trees, and more trees. Ooh. Oh, absolutely, we'll get that. She said the Kamar deer was 15, so I'm not gonna get that today. Oh, he's missing his body. Poor guy. What's in this fun box? Look at this glowy guy. Glowy guy. Look at this little sleepy mouse on his gold cheese. <laughs> oh, little felties. Little angel babe. She's kind of fun. I don't know how much she is. I'll have to ask. Look at these Victorian. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for the glare. Look at these cards. They're ten dollars each. Look at that. That is so cool. I don't know. It's even got the easel on the back. I like that one slightly better than this one. So I guess we'll get that too. Well, everything on these tables are a dollar. I do see these. I do kitsch with craft with these kitschtastic plastic. Especially the nuts, which I'm really low on. So we'll get that for a dollar. Snowman lights. Garland. A doggy bone Christmas stocking with nothing in it. This is kind of cool. I think it's missing something though. I have seen these before. I think it's missing something. Oh, look at the sunny bunny. 
Oh, it's just the box. The book's not in there. That's still kind of cute for a dollar, though. Hmm. Wish they had the book, though. Well, they got another dollar table, so we'll, um, we'll keep looking. Got the big pumpkin blow mold. He's 45. And here's the other... Another dollar table. Let's see if there's anything else we need to take with it us. Went right into a little towel thing. Oh, it looks perfect. perfect. <laughs> what is that? But it's just right here. Are you doing accidental crafting? Yeah. We're getting, we're getting oh, crafting. I see. Look at that. This is it's like the perfect fit in there. Yeah. It's a little Edward Mobley oh. mini pop. It's mini Woofy. <laughs> He's three dollars. We'll get him. He's having a bad day. Look at all of the swimming pools of plush. Oh my goodness. They're all new. They're all new plush. There's no no vintage in here, but I think it's it's cool. It's definitely kid friendly to dig around in here. How cute is this little hutch? Oh my goodness. It's 375. Says it's from the 1920s. Look at the old snow globes. These are fun. Oh, look at Santa in there. A little bear. This one's got a little kid in a snowsuit. Those are fun. Oh, you know, I like some books. Peter Rabbit and Sammy Squirrel. Peter Rabbit and his pa. Peter Rabbit and his ma. And then we switch to the three little pigs. Pied Piper. King Cole, the little dog. Oh, that would not wag his tail. That's kind of sad. Ugly duckling. Modern storybook. Oh, Mother Goose. Ooh, that's kind of Halloween-y looking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I kind of want to look here. Hold on to that one. I kind of want to look inside that one. So I've never seen that one before. I do like the three kittens who lost their mittens, too. I also will have to look at that one for condition. Oh my, look at the millinery that we have here. Oh dear, that's cool. In the box, a corsage. Oh man. Ooh, look at this box. Ooh, there's some cool stuff in that one. I think we have to get that box. Unfortunately, both of the books um, were not in very good shape. So I'm leaving those behind, but we are going to get that. So I'm filming this for a display idea. It's just like um, a drawer and they put a light in the bottom and just stacked all these bottles up here. It's not a black light. It's just a light that's in there to light all the glass up from the bottom. Isn't that cool? Oh, look at the pink radio. That's really cool. Ooh, look at all the milk glass. Wow. <laughs> I do like the cake plate, but I have that already. Look at these, oh, tin litho car centers and garages, cool. Okay, I'm going to be talking louder because there's music playing here, but oh, look at what we found. And look, here's an elf can, always love to look for those. What else do we have? That's cool, but I don't like the big juice glass in there. Burners, which is from Michigan. Yeah, I don't really see any other ones that we need to take with us, um, but those two are pretty good. Oh, I love the penguin and the igloo. That's fun. I've never seen that one. 65. Look at all the vases. Pretty, pretty. Got 55 in the Viking, 52 on the Fenton, 110 on the Ellie Smith, 3 toed. Yeah, all pretty retail there. Mm, look at all the mums. Oh, I like the purple. Look how pretty. Pretty Fenton. Got a mixture. There's some Boyd's glass in there, too. Heritage. Pretty. The silver crest. Well, from the last booth of glass, I did purchase this absolutely gorgeous Northwood tree trunk vase. Um, it was only $10. It needs some cleaning. 
And I, you know, I don't usually buy glass, but that seemed to be a pretty good deal. I know it's worth uh, quite a bit more than $10. Oh, uh, look at Masters of the Universe castle. He's got 75 on it. I had all these once upon a time. Look at Sherry Lewis and Sherry Lamb with Lamb Chop and Charlie Horse. That's really fun. I'm not sure with the price on it, but that's really cool to see. Hi there. Good. We can help you out price. Okay. Thank you so much. A little bit. I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of these. You know the little pumpkins and cross ones, but I I like the little bats. I probably will get those for sure. I like those. What else do we have? The little ornaments. There's a deer. Deer up on you, I know. She's got some fun stuff. These aren't the teeny tinies. These are. 15 millimeters, yeah, but I look for 12 and 10. Like this yellow angel babe. She's cute. She's really cute. Okay. Thank you. Anytime that we go to an outdoor show, it's either, you know, really hot or it's really windy, and it's kind of both today. So. I do craft with these vintage nut tins, especially when they have the lid on. That's usually if they don't have the lid, I don't pick them up. So we will get that today. All right, well, we're all done shopping at the Tiffin Flea Market. A lot of good stuff there today. It was a gorgeous day. So many vendors were set up. I know that I purchased some things at the show that I didn't show me purchasing. So I will be tacking on a haul to the end of the video, but now we are stopping into Jeffrey's Antique Gallery in Finley, Ohio. We stopped in here the last time that we went to the Tiffin Flea Market. So it is uh, September now, so I'm hoping that we might find some fall goodies in here today. So let's get in here. Ooh, look at all the Halloween. 58.50, the pumpkin, the Rosbro Witch and Black Cat candy containers, 42.50. I like the treat bags. Those are fun. Five for two fifty is pretty good. Look at this wiener dog and his bone. He's fifteen dollars. Oh my goodness! I've never seen this in person before. This is a very hard to find. Nodder, so the head goes up and down, and it's also a bank. It has its original. It would have originally come with a jingle bell around its neck. They have seventy five on it. Wow! It's so cute to see in person. Oh wow, I had to get some of this on camera. So we've got the Vaseline pitcher with all of the footed cups. And then look at the centerpiece Woo, with the cranberry. We got a lovely pickle caster here. They've got 150 on that. And then look at this uranium beverage dispenser. That is everything. $6.95 on that piece. I don't know if this guy was here the last time and I filmed it, but I have talked about in the live sales a few times, or maybe other times I filmed the Galaxy Spaceman bottles, how hard it is to find the black one, and they have it here for 75 so that's really cool to see that. Oh, here's some kitchen witches. I haven't seen these in a long time, and with the original label on here, that's cool. They look... Look at that, they even put a ward on her nose. <laughs> I don't see any chipping on them. They're $14. Yeah, we'll get those. I also like these Coonies. Little trash pandas. Ooh, those are $15.50. I'm not sure why those are more. These are definitely more common than the Kitchen Witch. So we're not going to get the raccoons, but we will get those guys. He has seen some things. <laughs> I love that coffee pot there. Oh my goodness, 40 cups. That sounds about how much I need in the morning. $39. That's cool. It's got the very mid-century wood on there. I like this one too. Fun mid-century. Fancy hats. Oh, I love these orange gloves. I have a black beaded purse at home, I think. These would look great draped over. 550 
Yeah, I'm gonna get those. Oh, look at Woodsy the Owl. He's a cookie jar. Give a hoot, don't pollute. I can't see his tag. I don't know how much he is. But there's the Lone Ranger. He's $375. Some interesting stuff. Oh, look at that little wind-up squirrel toy in the box back there. He's $30. Really nice Victorian box there for $125. There's Pinocchio. He's $175. Oh, look at her in her little yellow frilly dress. I can't see her tag either. She turned her away. Yeah, she's really cute. Buster Brown goes swimming. Oh, there's some some Santa goobers. I can't see their tag either. Yeah, a lot of the tags are turned over in here. I definitely don't need a puppet today, Mom. Ooh, very hard to find jointed bystol witchy decoration. She's very, she's very large. They've got um, $50 on her. Oh, look at the Hershey Kisses. I had these. I had these when I was a kid. Semi-sweetie, scotchy, and milky. How much are these? Oh, they're $10 a piece. Those are really fun. Oh man, these are some giant Holy cow, that might be the biggest pumpkin blow mold I've ever seen. They, they've only got 80 bucks on it. It's a little sun faded, but it's not bad. I mean, if you're going to put it outside, I don't see the tag on that one. I got another one. Another one that is facing the corner. Apparently this pumpkin has done something bad. Ooh, he's very sun faded. He's 50 bucks. Some fun advertising tins. Oh, I like those motor oil tins hanging from the ceiling. Okay, who remembers Polly Pockets? I did. I had Polly Pockets, but this is the Emerald City. I believe this was like early 2000s, 2000, 2001 that this came out. It doesn't have any of the characters with it, but the great and powerful Oz. That's cool. Those are cool. I've not seen this style before. Little reflector flowers with mercury beads in the center. There's one missing, but that's okay. I'm I'm gonna get these to uh, do Christmas crafting with. Those are cool. That's what I said. Bunny bread. That's really cool. With the googly eyes. It's 15. I'm not sure if you guys watched my 127 video, but I picked up some small. Uh, cabinet cards that somebody had made witch hats out of construction paper uh, I've bought three of those on the 127. I have since sold them all so I've been looking I mean, you guys don't even want to know how many cabinet cards um, in the past couple months that I have looked through trying to find I like um, like when there's two so that they're like sisters um, and I don't know maybe that that is a I don't know I like when there's multiples in the picture. I really liked the, look at those fancy collars that they have on. So I've been trying to look for more to make uh, more like little witchy cards um, to kind of make little pairing assemblages with. And I really like her dress and collar too. So I'm going to get both of those. Okay, I had to get this on camera. I just don't see these, these paper Halloween lanterns. Look at the pixie. He's awesome. Black cat. I don't really want to like move it too much. The witch and the pumpkin on the one side. It's two hundred dollars. Let's peek under the tag. We got the ghosty. Really cool. Oh my goodness. Look at Tom and Jerry. How cute are they? Ninety nine dollars for the pair. Oh, so cute. Especially in this little children's chair. I had to get this on camera. So this is massive here. It's attached to a speaker box. It has a cassette plate, a cassette tape that they have up at the front. Um, but it's a carousel, and they're all pewter animals. It's twenty-four hundred dollars, but I at least had to film it because it's really awesome. Look at the rabbit. But it goes, you know, the animals go up and down as it rotates, and then there's mirrors and little felt flags and heads that go all the way around. It's like 
really cool. All right, we're all done shopping at Jeffrey's Antique Gallery. You guys did see everything that I purchased in there. Mama Pam also picked up a Barbie dress in there. Uh, but now we are heading into the Copper Kettle Antiques in Toledo, Ohio. So let's see what they have in there today. Right inside the door, I spied some little snowman uh, package topper size goobers for ten dollars. We're definitely gonna get those. I also like those little pine cone snowmen I bought Christmas in here last time. Oh, look at these reflector flower indents. Those are cool. Like the little angel. She's a little big though. Oh, look at these lucite purses. One forty nine. This one's. Look at the glitter in there. That's cool. One thirty nine. And two fifteen. Those are cool. Some fun stuff in here. I care. <laughs> That's a cute little turtle. Macrame plant holder. Oh, look at those blow up alligator Halloween trick or treat bags. Nineteen ninety six. Fourteen dollars. Those are kind of cool. And whenever I see Tupperware, I think of Garden Guy Bill. Oh, I do like this little ceramic haunted house. That's pretty cute. I think it's probably 90s or something. $18 isn't terrible. It's kind of... I do like the ghosty coming out of the chimney. It's a little out of my price range, but that's really cute. I like the color coordination in this cabinet. The little derpy birds. That's a pretty, that's really pretty. Uh, I can't quite see the tag on that, but I like that set. Cool witchy bowl mold that I don't see very often. I got 75 on her. Oh, I really like this tin. It's definitely Halloween-y colors. $8. Yes, yes, yes. We're definitely going to get that to craft with. Well, I first filmed these here in July, and it looks like the other one was purchased. Um, I found a set of these on the 127, um, and mine are like in perfect shape. What does this say? She's marked down to $12? Why? I'm gonna have to look at her and see if there's, she's got any damage. These are something I certainly don't see. So these are a liquor bottle and uh, she actually dances. You can wind her up and she's musical. $40 isn't half bad on it. Um, so that's really cool to see. Well, I looked her over. Um, I still have my other set at home. I was saving them to do for Halloween sale um, and I don't see any damage on her at all. So for $12, I'm, I don't know, maybe she, they're just moving inventory out. They do have a 20% off sale in here. So yeah, we'll take her, we'll take her with us today. Fun black light display with the different colored glass. I literally like the blues all, all collected together too. Look at all the Italian spaghetti sport dogs. I can't say that I've ever seen these guys before. I definitely have seen the spaghetti dogs, but these guys are talented. All right, the copper kettle was fun. I did find some Christmas things in there. And that Chase uh, Masquerade Angel ended up being an extra 20% off. So that made her a little over $9. So that was a really cool pickup in there. And our last stop today is the Mommy Antique Gallery in Mommy, Ohio. So let's go. Look, do you guys remember that I picked up a couple of those at Springfield, Ohio? Well, they've got some in here for $25.95 each. So it's cool to see some more of those out and about. They had some at the Midwest Holiday Show too. Look at that paper pulp witch. She is awesome. $3.95. Oh, I love that little little devil chenille goober. He's $29.95. He's awesome. They do have some Halloween postcards. Quite a few in here. Oh, look at the tally card. That's cool. $7 on that. Meow, meow. meow, meow. How much is that? 12 Let's say twelve dollars. Yeah, twelve ninety-five. Where'd that come from? 
up there. Oh, cool Halloween costume in the box. They got a lot. Oh, look at the little stife owl. The noisemaker. Oh, look at him with the googly eyes. Ooh, look at that owl back there. I'm going to zoom in. That owl back there in the corner. He's cool. 1895. I also like that place card there. $42. They've got just they have always had really cool Halloween. Look at this lucite. Owl. I'm gonna zoom out here. See some more stuff. Look at that candle guy. Look at his anthropomorphic little flame face. They always have really cool stuff in this case. Oh my gosh, look at these little little gourd weirdos. $20.95. Very cool. She's a nice head vase. $44.95. Bottle brush trees. There's a Joseph original lady down there. And a galaxy robot. Look at this display. It's really cool. Look at her. She's just, you know, just a baby head in a pot of flowers like you do. To a potted head. $25. She's cool. This appears to be a new booth since the last time that we were in here. Oh, I remember these little figural candles as a kid. That's really cute. Look oh, at the Merry Mushroom. Uh, I got 60, 60.50 on the three canisters. That's not the whole set. But it's not bad. Definitely seen it for much, much more than that. Some fun stuff in here. A very eclectic mix of things. Well, these are fun. My original packaging, $5.95. Usually I don't pick up the ribbons if they have that metal rivet to craft with. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to craft with. I don't really see anything, so we're going to move on to the next one. Look at this little kangaroo. Oh my gosh, that's even got the little joey that comes out of the pocket. How cute is that? $10 is all... This is also really cute. This little lacquered napkin holder. $7.50 on that. That's pretty cute. I love the little relish guy. The forest. He's $20. She doesn't look too thrilled about having to play the piano. Let's see what else we got. Some ice cream earrings. Everybody needs some. This is a fun little fairy figurine. She's probably definitely a modern, more modern kind of piece. She's still cute though. Nine dollars on her. Okay, this is not vin vintage, obviously, but it's a giant mask in a giant box. It's so cool. It's ninety dollars. Check this out. 1959. But look at the cover. Witchy cover. I mean, it's $12.95. Yeah, I think we'll get it. That's pretty cool. Meow meow. This is a really cool mask. It's made in Italy. I kind of like it. I'm going to switch the camera around. Yeah, see, it's made in Italy. It's $8. I kind of love that for display. I'm going to get that. Oh, I love this Halloween totem blow mold. They have 150 on it. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, I haven't found one of these Joseph original music boxes in a long time. Look at how cute the little mouse and the squirrel are seesawing and the little raccoon in the tree. We are taking that home with us. Well, I had to get these on camera. I do see some of them have some damage, but I just don't see these. These are northern imports. Ladybugs, um, very hard to find kitsch here, and those are the prices. Fun to see those. Look at this tree stand. Oh, it's cool, 60 bucks, and it has um, its original box with it too. 60 bucks. Look at all the penguins. Uh, the tag says that they were a store display. Um, 
And you get them all for $4.85. How fun are they? This is such a cute little canister set for fall with the little owls. You have, what does that say? Set with lids, $80 for the set. Hmm. It's a little, little Rosboro pumpkin guy. He's only 10 bucks. Yeah, we'll get him. You don't see him very often. All right, the sun is starting to set. It's very bright, so I apologize for that. We're all done shopping today. We uh, have been gone all day long shopping at various places in Ohio. I did find some cool stuff in the Mommy Antique Mall, uh, some cool Halloween things, so that's always exciting. And that darn cute Joseph Originals music box, I can't resist those. Those are the cutest thing ever, um, especially on the little seesaw. So cute for fall. Um, so thank you guys for coming along with us today. I definitely will uh, have everything that we purchased um, at the flea market and all the antique malls that we went to today. It will be all in the haul attached to the end of the video, so stick around for that. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that I either filmed today or that I purchased. Either one will work. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe if you're not already it's totally free to subscribe to the channel if you love to see me shop and find the cool vintage i certainly would appreciate it thank you guys again and we'll see you in the next one bye welcome back everybody so i've got everything laid out here from our multiple stops in Ohio for the day. I just decided to combine everything together. So we'll start with everything that we got at the Tiffin Flea Market this time. Um, this was a great deal for these little vintage snowman towels. And they're all the same. I thought that they were cute. They were a quarter, a quarter a piece, which is pretty amazing. Um, this little angel babe ornament with the rhinestones. Uh, she's really cute. Um, the little bats here, a uh, little cake topper bats. Those are something I'm going to be keeping to do something crafty with. I love those. And I also like this little witchy poo. Um, I can't quite tell if she was a manufactured piece or she was handmade. I think that she was handmade, um, because her little pumpkin friend here is made, looks like it's made out of a wood bead. And then she's got a little paper mache uh, face, but I still liked her. I thought she was really cool. Uh, my favorite postcard guy was set up there at the show. So I did pick up a couple more antique QB postcards. And this, wow. This uh, Victorian Valentine. I think it's a Valentine. Um, maybe, or maybe it's just a, just a everyday lovey-dovey card, but... Wow, and it still has the easel on the back. That is fantastic. Um, I'm not sure if I filmed this or not. I did get this from the same guy I got the towels from. Uh, this little Christmas tree, little mid-century Christmas tree brooch. I did get two little ceramic trees. Um, the bases aren't out here. I just didn't unpack the bases, but I do have the light bases for both of those. To look how tiny this one is. I don't think I've ever seen one like skinny and tiny at the same time. Um, I really like the tiny trees, so that's fun. Uh, the sun, little sunny bunny box that came off of that dollar table. It was originally supposed to come with a book inside. It's just the box, but I thought the box was still cute. Um, I could always do a mystery box with uh, ephemera and smaller things in there if I wanted to do that. So I thought the graphic was still cute on it. Uh, yes, uh, vintage soda cans. If you guys know, I do craft with these and I'm always looking for the Elf brand can. Um, and I really liked the colors in the hy V lemon lime soda, um, and the mixed nut tin there at the end. So I am going to keep all three of those things for crafting. And then, uh, this awesome bag full of vintage Christmas seals. Um, the whole bag is full. And then there's some punch out tags 
and some other things that are in there too. So I love to find the Christmas ephemera. Um, and then these two things, uh, the little Irwin baby is something I'm going to be keeping. And oh my gosh, so much cool millinery flowers and leaves, um, all sorts of different varieties in there. That whole tub, I'm also keeping that. Um, and then I did film this booth of beautiful glass, probably toward the end. Um, and he told me <laughs> that I could have this vase uh, for $10. So I was like, really? Um, it's Northwood. It's a tree trunk vase, so it's an early 1900s glass, so that's pretty exciting. I usually don't pick up glass, but that was a pretty good deal to pass up. Um, back here, I think I filmed one, getting one of these, and I didn't the other. Um, but I have these Kitschtastic plastic um, floral rings, so I'm keeping both of those. I do use, um, I mainly got them for the plastic um, nuts that are in here and acorns, um, something I'm going to be keeping to craft with for sure. And then our next stop, um, on the tour of Ohio was Jeffrey's antique gallery. Um, we were last, we went to Tiffin, Ohio for the flea market and Jeffrey's last, I believe in July. Um, and it is September. So, um, not a whole lot has changed in Jeffrey's. Some people did bring in some seasonal stuff, but, um, I picked up these awesome burnt orange gloves. I love the styling of those and the button. I'm actually going to be pairing these with a, uh, beaded black purse, um, to sell as a pair together. Um, these awesome mercury bead reflector kind of glittery flowers. Those are something I'm going to be keeping for crafty arrangements. Kitchen Witches! It's been forever since I have seen these. And the fact that they still have the little tag on there that tells about the Kitchen Witch. Um, those were pretty awesome to find, find those. Perfect for Halloween season. And uh, the last thing I got at Jeffrey's were these... Um, antique cabinet card photographs. Um, I am going to be uh, turning these ladies into witches. So I'm going to be adding some black paper witch hats to them. Um, if you saw my video from the 127 longest yard sale this year, I did pick up some cabinet cards from the sale that somebody else had turned them into witches. I have since uh, found homes for all of those. And um, I really liked these. Uh, particular ones to turn into witches again. So I thought that that was a great idea. Um, then our next stop was uh, the Copper Kettle Antiques um, in Toledo, Ohio. And what I picked up there was this awesome uh, can, definitely Halloween color inspired. That's something I'm going to be keeping to craft with. Um, not sure about the Pinecone Goober Santas, if I'm going to be keeping those or passing those on. Uh, same with these little Corsage Snowmen. Um, I believe I'm probably going to be keeping those for sure. This very hard to find Chase Japan Masquerade Angel. Uh, the first time that we went there in July, when they were having Christmas in July sales, they had the pair of those and it was the first time I'd seen them in a very very long time and then I found the set on the 127 uh, together and then when we went back this time she was still there but she was marked down and she actually had an extra percent off so her sister was gone um, but she was still there so I decided to pick her up as well and then our very last stop was uh, the Mommy Antique Mall in Mommy, Ohio. And, oh my gosh, I love these flocked Joseph Originals music boxes. So there's a little magnet when you wind it up. Um, it goes back and forth. And then the seesaw kind of moves back and forth as it goes along. This has already sold and found a new home. Um, I'm actually filming this before I pack, pack it up and ship it off to its new owner. So I had to get it in the hall here. And then 
this little Rosbro pumpkin. Uh, that is something I'm keeping to do crafty bits with. I loved this Italian meow meow uh, cat mask. It does say made in Italy on the back. Um, I, and it's, it's velvety. It's got sequins. It's got um, gold applied eyelashes. Look at these whiskers. They're just awesome. And then the last thing is this amazing October 1959 Child Life magazine. I geek out over the Halloween ephemera, so I cannot believe that this was sitting at the mall because we're kind of, I mean, we're in the middle of September um, as we're filming this. So that this was still sitting there was pretty amazing because usually this kind of stuff is scooped up right away. So um, I just, I love these. I don't know. I love these magazines and I think the covers are always fantastic for display. Um, the only other thing that is not out here was a little mini Edward Mobley woofy squeak um, that I did pick up at the Tiffin flea market. That has already sold um, and is on its way to its new home. So I hope you guys had fun coming along with us for the day at various stops in Ohio. Uh, we always love to do a little road trip and stop as many places as we can when we're out and about. Let me know what was your favorite thing that I either filmed today or that I purchased. Either one will work. Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if I didn't note that I am either keeping it or it's already been sold, it will be for sale. Um, you can find me every single Wednesday over on Mother Tucker's Antiques YouTube channel. We have a fun live sale called Fantastic Finds. And we also follow that up with a community share. So our watchers and customers send in photographs to share on the screen live, uh, everybody. So that's really fun. Come check us out. Come over and say hi in our sale chat on a Wednesday. We'd love to see you. You can also check the community tab here on my channel for upcoming live sales and item previews. I also do pop-up sales here on my channel as well. Uh, thank you guys again, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.